Hello, this is Daryl Webster from Modern Workplace Change. If you've been in a meeting which has been busy with chat, let's fire off a few chats here with some of my demo attendees. Then busy meetings can fire up notifications like this and they can cover the chat that I might be trying to use at that very moment to respond. Uh, so that's kind of tricky. How do we deal with that? How do we get rid of those notifications? Well, we don't have to leave the meeting. Um, what we'll do, we'll take a closer look. We'll go into the uh, chat app and the meeting is running still in the background. Here's Microsoft Teams and we'll use the ellipsis button and we'll choose mute. And what that will do is it will mute the notifications. Let's go back into our meeting. I'll still be able to see chat over here and we'll just fire in a bit of message messages from different people who are in the meeting. So this time our notifications shouldn't pop up over the top of the text box. There we go. Uh, we are in the meeting, we can still talk and discuss um, within the chat box, but we're not getting those messages covering over. So that's one way to deal with the messages and the notifications. However, what about when we um, finish the meeting? Now here's a, here's a trick. Uh, one thing is that you could leave the meeting, but we'll do that now. And I finished, there are other people that are still in the meeting, we'll go over to Teams. But let's say that I, I've left the meeting, it's a couple of hours later, everyone else has left the meeting. And let's drop in some chat. Drop in there, and drop in there. Okay. So there's, there's no notifications coming up because I have still muted the conversations. You don't see any notifications here. The chat, is still going on, there we go, All right? So that mute option really has helped to silence those uh, notifications. Good thing about this though, is if someone does at mention me, so I am in the role of Isaiah today, then I might be working away and, oh, there is someone that has mentioned me within the meeting and that's a good thing. Someone's looped me back into the conversation and I need to be able to respond to that. So that's a good thing. Um, so that's uh, a couple of ways to manage notifications. The other way, uh, when you are in that meeting, and if you are a meeting organizer, let's join that quickly now. Is that we can end the meeting. This means that the meeting will be finished for everyone. They can go back in and, and still chat, but ending the meeting means that you will also silence the notifications because they um, everyone has left the meeting. If you go back to the chat, then when someone at mentions me again, then an at mention is still going to come up and tell me that there's a notification, but I'm not gonna see any other conversations coming through from other people who might go to that conversation thread, join the chat and send through meetings. So there's a couple of other responses after that. Oh, a couple of ways to get control of your notifications while you're in meetings and after meetings, key thing, mute those notifications you don't have to leave the meeting just go to the chat app and hit mute and if you want to um, finish receiving notifications then make sure you leave the meeting afterwards that was uh, daryl webster for modern workplace change keen to see more like this then you know where to find me you know what to do see you again soon